So I've gotten a lot of questions from people about like if you go for a takedown and you fail, what's something that you can do afterwards? Like you so again, if you're going for some sort of double leg single leg, whatever, and you mess it up, what can you do? So I'm gonna show you guys an option. It's really simple. So I think that most of you guys will be able to use this pretty easily um, if you fail your takedown and you try to you know get something going. So um, I'll show you guys that. As always, this is my lovely assistant. So handsome, Mr. Adam Wilson. Let's say that I go in for a takedown and you know, a lot of times you get sprawled on this kind of stuff, but in a lot of cases, we'll still have a leg, right? So if I shot in, what we'll do from the sprawl here? So if I go in, bang, shoot in here, he sprawls out, bang, and I'm right here. So I've got a leg, okay? So the first thing's first is you don't want to sit here. The longer you sit here, the more time that person has to begin to adjust and, and beat you up and find a submission. So what I'm gonna do is I wanna sort of lock this leg in place, okay? Because if I try to circle right now, if I try to circle, he can circle with me. Right here. So what I'm gonna do, watch this leg here. So from here, I've got a gable grip on my hands. I'm gonna take my elbow and go down to the ground and then I can lock his leg in place. From here, I'm still gonna be able to my toes and I'm gonna drive into his thigh. Boom. I like to flatten them out. It really sucks in the leg. Right? So what I'm doing is basically I'm locking this leg in place. This stops him from being able to turn his hips. Second, I'm driving it, and I mean, I'm putting a ton of pressure with my shoulder down here against the thigh. Also, um, significant is that I have a head down, so I'm not in danger of being uh, keymored or choked immediately, okay? So again, I shoot it for my take, take down, boom, I've got my grip. From here, I'm gonna quickly get on my toes, and I wanna run and get my elbow down to here to the side. From here, I'm gonna continue to drive and walk, 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 and then as soon as he gets flattened out, cover and begin to walk up and get up tight, chest to chest. So by shooting here, boom, shoot, he sprawls, bang, down, grab, up on the toes, begin to walk, get the elbow down, try, circle, 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 and then cover the distance here. But that, just that locking part's important. So if you guys try this out, Remember, don't just try to like pull the leg in, get the elbow down. This way you can sort of pull that leg and lock it in place and then we circle. Well, Adam had a question about the position because you know, we were talking about it um, and you know, again, show, show us what we were looking at here, Adam. Okay, so basically Adam's asking if, you know, because again, when we were doing the drill, he was just kind of going down because it kind of hurts on the leg, but he was saying if the guy steps up right here, does it still work? It does, so I continue to pull my elbow in. So again, notice I'm pulling that elbow in tight to my body, driving, 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 driving. And then we just, you continue to run there to the side, okay? Again, what we're trying to do always, guys, is find angles. And so I don't wanna be trying to stay here straight and like pick the leg up. What I'm doing is I'm getting around to the side, harder to defend. And then if he's still going, I can continue to circle. Because what did I do? I lock his hip in place. So as I circle, if he tries to turn towards me, because we're locking him in place, he physically cannot turn, turn towards me as long as that elbow stays down to the mat. So we're here, and as I get up and walk, I'm still driving into him, so he cannot turn towards me. And then I can come out to the back. And if for some reason, he, go, he was on his knees, and he didn't go down, oh, then we would just go here and take the back. So, just wanted to add that little bit in there. It's super simple. It's a simple adjustment. You literally, you got the gable grip. All you're doing is making sure you lock that leg in place. Um, but that's a small little detail that if you add into, you know, the middle of that scramble, you might find that it makes that position a lot easier. Should you get stuck in a position where you're hanging on a leg, person smashing down, and you got to make something happen. So give that a try. Hope it works for you guys. I'm finished. Adam. Adam.